Uh, that's not the only way, of course, that corporations increase their earnings. You know, it's always nicer to have stronger GDP growth, but one thing where U.S. corporations in particular are very good at is restructuring the operations, finding ways to increase productivity and increase earnings and reorganizations along that line. And I think that's going to be a key thing that's going to help them outperform next year. And Dan, how should equity investors play the market as we approach year end? Well, you know, our general advice is to stay invested unless you have a real compelling reason uh, to do otherwise. We don't really see any big risks ahead. You know, Europe does seem to be off the table in terms of the Eurozone crisis. Uh, China, we've got what seems to be a soft landing, so it's hard to see kind of an unexpected shock. You know, by definition, you wouldn't see it. Uh, but nothing, especially with valuations where they are, that suggests that people should be getting out of equities. If they're in equities now, we think that's probably the right place to be. Uh, and as we go into next year, if there's perhaps a bit of a correction, when we do get more tapering out of QE, we think that's really going to be a buying opportunity. So hold off on cash, but new cash until a uh, possible correction. Well, I don't know if you want to be too clever about it at the same time. Uh, maybe that we won't get the correction. Maybe things will be just so smooth and the market adjusts uh, without any problem and you will have missed the upside between now and then. So we think now is honestly a good a time as probably later to be moving into the equity market. We've seen Twitter rise just about 25% this week alone, 35% over the last two weeks. Bitcoin just keeps going higher and higher. Housing prices have been strong. Um, a bubble in the offing? Um, well, certainly not in equity markets, not with valuations where they are, you know, with any particular stock, you know, who knows? It really comes down to their own uh, fundamentals. But no, we do not see the equity market as a bubble at all.